Hello friends and welcome to Smooth Magic. This is your home on YouTube for all the smoothest booster box openings. And of course we're deep into the Double Masters VIP packs as we uh, continue our hunt for a Force of Will, a Jace, something, uh, something like that. I quite liked our last uh, approach of taking these one by one, so let's continue that. We will uh, not prep everything beforehand and just kind of dig at them one by one. That way we can get to the good stuff real fast. We got pack number one here. Let's see what we got. I put this off to the side here. My uh, cutting tool. Throw uh, commons off to the side. Next up, we've got some of our uncommons. Oh, a trash for treasure. I don't think I've. Yeah, I mean I've seen this artwork before, but wow, it looks really really cool with the. Uh, with the foiling there. Sometimes the foiling really helps make things pop a little bit better. It looks very cool. And Engineer Explosive for our rare number one. An adapter of Automaton for rare number two. A uh, beautiful but kind of worthless Urza's Tower. And a gorgeous, gorgeous Fire and Ice Sword. Yeah, love that art. It, love the art, love the foiling there on that sort of duality going on there. Very cool. Move on to box number two. So, I wanted to know if a uh, few folks have been opening up any uh, of these VIP packs or booster boxes, and if so, what sort of things have you pulled? Have you gotten lucky and got the old Force of Will and Jace, or are you more uh, my style of the meddling mages and such? I figure eventually we've got to find a Jace or a Force of Will, right? Eventually. And uh, I can't wait to be here with you all when it happens. Alright, where are us? Oh, Metamorphosis, that's a... That's a uncommon that holds a quite a bit of value. <laughs> the rush of knowledge, I love that. He's just screaming at a Led Zeppelin concert or something. All right, here we go, coming up on the first rare. We got a Cascade Bluffs. Got a lot of those. And the Liege of the Tangle. The old Thought Seas. And a Mox Opal. Very fantastic. It really looks like there's like an alien hand here, if that's what it is. Like, like a bug. Alien bug holding that, that opal in its hand. Well, two packs down. Two mythics uh, discovered. And uh, they're quite good mythics, so um, things seem to be off to a very, very good start. Oh, this one had a lot of glue on it. Ooh, all right. <laughs> really have to put a little force uh, into that one. Maybe that's the one that Force of Will will be in. We'll see. Okay, here we go into the uncommons. Here we go. First rare is Blasphemous Act. Sword of Feast and Famine. Very cool. We should make some room for that. Make some room for the Sword of Feast and Famine. A Lightning Greaves. A little sad to see that. 
upshifted uncommon, and a goblin guide. A little bit of a weak uh, box topper there. Okay, folks, this is our last box. Short and sweet and to the point. As these videos have been becoming, but it's really fun to open these up and get the good stuff and kind of go on with our day, right? No need for long 10, sometimes 20 minute videos. Folks, I have enjoyed having you here with me today here on Smooth Magic, and we do hope that you stop in again as we continue our booster box openings, whether it be Double Masters, Zendikar Rising, or whatever the set seems to be. I think I peeped uh, one of the Urza's lands there as our box topper. The old Mischief Factory. Okay, here we go. Baleful Strix, a whole lot of nothing, and a Chrome Mox. That's a whole lot of something. Oh, you can't see it right now, but I've got a big grin on my face. Not only do I love the art and foiling, I just I love the card in general. Yep, and we did get the Urza's power plant. <gasps> okay, well there we go. Amateur.